So here we are just out of uh, Birmingham on uh, what they call like little pools I guess yes. or little private lakes yep. um, and you, you actually just like buy a ticket so you can actually fish it for the day. This one's probably you know 20 or 30 pounds for the day um, and this is where we're going to fish it and again like Kev assured me that this brand new fly line he made with love is going to work here and definitely catch a few fish. So um, with a bit of luck we'll get that one straightened out. The flies are a little different. We're going to use a traditional like buzzer type pattern, um, which is imitates like little midge and that I would yep. imagine yep. like in an area like this. So uh, we'll give this one a workout and just see if this can't produce works. a fish. And we'll show you what a United Kingdom fish looks like. comes. Oh! Hey, took it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, he won't take it again, surely. Took it in his mouth, but not having the indicator. I wasn't sure. I could see that little shake and lift it up and uh, he wasn't hooked up, but anyway, that's all right. My first cast, Kev did promise that this uh, fly line was going to catch fish. Well, at least it gets them to eat it anyway. Now, fishing here is probably going to be no different um, here or anywhere else in the world. With a small fly, you've got to make very small movements. So, um, if you're fishing a big woolly bugger, big strips, with a very small fly like this little midge pattern, you've virtually got to move it um, in like centimetres at a time. So you can either use like what we call a figure eight retrieve, which is slowly withdrawing the line back in, or even just short little 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 tugs on it so you're still connected to the fly. And obviously once you feel that resistance, lift, and hopefully there's a fish on the end of it. So uh, I might take a couple of casts. Well, finally, it's taken a little bit of time, Kev, but we've uh, got there. We've we've got an English trout mm -hmm. yeah. on a fly line that you did guarantee me would would catch a fish. Yep. We've got a bit of going in too. This little rainbow is a good couple of pounds. Just always obviously trying to keep them out of the reeds is always good. And we started off with a, uh, a buzzer, which is a, a very typical English fly pattern. And then uh, Kev swapped to like a woolly bugger, a very similar fly to what we'd use in Australia. And that's produced the goods on this rainbow. Just a lovely fish with that sparkle woolly bugger. I took it quite aggressively. We'll get him back in. A fantastic UK rainbow. Perfect. Very good. On one of these uh, lovely airlines made with all the love and care by Kev Special. <laughs> we'll get him back in. And plenty of go left in him. So uh, that's what it all comes down to, Kev. We've got a, a lovely fly line, and that's where all the work that you put in 
um, certainly pays off, isn't it? You know, something yep. that casts really well, shoots well, no memory, uh, and floats really well. And yep. that's when it all comes in. So, uh, well done. Thanks, mate. Perfect. Good. So you find, Kev, a lot of like the English uh, fly fishers fish in, in, in private lakes like they this? They do, yeah, they prefer it, the nice, nice little tranquil yeah. settings and it's, uh, all the way from all the hustle and bustle of daily life. Sure. So the, you, you find there's not a lot of like river fishing in uh, the UK? No, um, not for trout really, it's yeah. mainly coarse fishing on, on rivers. There's a few specialist rivers um, in the UK. Yep. Case for trout fishing, potentially more little chalk streams, which can be quite expensive. Some of yes. those chalk streams, yeah, sure. Like salmon fishing is pretty popular. Like that, that's quite expensive, though. Like chasing salmon, it is very expensive. Yeah, and, um, it can be frustrating as well. Yeah, very yep. frustrating. A lot of time for not many fish, fish quite yeah, often, yeah. and. Uh, I guess the conditions have got to be perfect. Yeah, sure. So that they're paying what's like literally thousands of pounds yeah. for a little section. Yeah. yeah. Which I, I guess in Australia, like we buy a license and you fish, fish every anywhere. river, everywhere you want. You go to New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty spoiled, I think, over, you know, Australia and yeah. New Zealand compared to, yeah, over here. So there was one, uh, I guess, was just midging, just under the surface, and we've persisted with that woolly bugger that worked on the on the, the fish before, and we've varied the retrieve. Sometimes you might just have a, a short little retrieve and it works. Other times you've got to vary it to make sure they'll, they'll get a take, and that was quite a large strip, and we got him to take it. They're quite powerful fish too. Look, just those big tails. Try and get him out of that water without going in head first. He's a great fish. He's probably yeah easily three and a half pound. And again, that woolly bugger, which the crystal and black works really well in Australia and really good in the UK as well. So we'll get him back in. A great fish for... It's the same even in a lake, like in the river where you've got the current flowing through his gills. Obviously there's no movement here, but we just need to support the fish, hold him upright until he's got the uh, enough oxygen through there and he's good to swim away. And plenty of kick left in him, so... Uh... That's good. Number two fish in the UK.